you're lucky, once or twice in your lifetime, you'll be part of a team that's working to achieve a goal that is seemingly impossible. It's a time when you're able to witness incredible human effort and the triumph of the human spirit over unexpected obstacles. Aqua Africa's project to bring clean drinking water to a remote village in South Sudan is one such story. This is my Woods story. The flight from Aqua Africa's international headquarters in Omaha, Nebraska, to South Sudan typically flies through Chicago, then Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and finally in Juba, South Sudan. From there, you take a very small plane into my route. With airport layovers and flight delays, the trip can easily take three to four days or longer. When I arrived in my route, I was exhausted, but also energized to see how my hometown has changed over the years. During my visit, I recorded the GPS locations of community existing water points and critical infrastructure, schools, churches, health clinics. I also met with community leaders to identify the select areas of my route most in need of improved water access. I recorded those GPS locations too. The needs were very great. Because my wood is just nine degrees above the equator, it is extremely hot year round. The residents jokingly say there are just two seasons, hot and extra hot. In reality, there are just two seasons, a dry season and a rainy season. The dry season runs from November through April. The rainy season, May through October. It's a time when regional flooding is quite commonplace. Between the transportation of our vehicle, bore to Melut also, we are changing a lot of problems. Before starting the journey from bore to Melut, uh, one of our support truck is fall down in the water. Uh, because of the, the ship, which we are using the ship is damaged, the engine is damaged. It's just moving the ship in the river, our vehicle is fall down. Again, we took our mechanics, we are repairing our vehicles, again we are loading. Cars in South Sudan take a beating. There are so few paved roads. When vehicles break down, there's no AAA roadside assistance service to call. I still have images of CRN's team pushing that Land Rover to restart it while traveling the 75 miles from Paloche to retrieve the trucks. What a team, what an effort. When we see the Maywood, that road of Maram Road, Maywood Road, we feel we have done everything. Yeah, we reach finally and safe. We start drilling. Even in the drilling time, we did even the challenges. First, we thought it is only the mud drilling and we can drill. And uh, according to the survey and everything, we can get water below 100 meter. Yes. And that's where we agree and everything. But when the time will come, the drilling time, it has different totally. We are facing so many problems. Yeah, that time. Because this tower is 12 meters high now, we're supposed to use crane yes. for lifting the tower material. Whole four towers, our people is uh, using manpower only. Yes. Yeah, it's manpower, we're using the ropes, we are pulling, pulling, pulling. Uh, our people almost is 200% tight. Even our people is not taking rest, that our team. Again, we are continuing, we are facing the problem. Uh, finally, uh, we finish uh, all four water rats. Today, due to the generosity of uh, strangers, the prayers of the Maywood community, and the work of a small team of overcomers. You know, the families of Maywood are the beneficiaries of a healthier and happier lives through the gift of clean water. We were very grateful and relieved that uh, several donors had understood the human needs in Maywood. And with that, they, had, they stepped up very big to cover the added cost of the steel and as well as other materials uh, for the Maywood project. Aqua Africa established and trained the community residents to maintain their water points and water system. Uh, this was done through the proprietary uh, program called Micro Democracy. The community set to collect uh, the water user fees. They set also to form, uh, to set the community water policies that will ensure that the community are actually managing the water properly. You know, the residents got to see and experience uh, arrival of clean running water. You know, many people came to fill their jerrycans, 
um, it was very exciting to see. You know, there were very, very uh, many uh, smiling faces, happy smiling faces that was going on within the community. And it was just very incredible to see. Initially, when we were planning this uh, My Wood project, we envisioned it to be one to two year uh, completion from start to end. Uh, but with that, God had other plans in place for us. Uh, we learned to be very patient uh, and to be transparent with the My Wood community. Uh, our stakeholders, the donors. That way we can be able to serve the community of my wood. And we're very fortunate and happy, you know, because we know that God's timing is always the best. <laughs>